<laughs> Let's get right into it. Now, some ladies said to be lesbians have been pelted with stones and human excreta at Teshi. This follows a similar mob action against Kinto, a gentleman beaten by some angry youth in Nima for allegedly being gay. Well, we hear that residents thought the lesbians or the ladies were enjoying their engagement party. Okay, we'll get into that later. I was glad when some Ghanaians decided to protest against ethnocentrism, but did I hear that the MPP were prevented from the demonstration dubbed One Ghana? I guess it's clear that it was a divided Ghana demonstration then. Now, this is my favorite. Ayarikov Ayarigate, the man who wanted to export the brain drain, Hassan Ayariga, says he will be running for president in 2016 on the PNC ticket. Are you not excited? Well, I definitely am. I promise you this will be the shortest 30 minutes of your life. Let's get talking. I'm Ifwa Kwa Harrison and this is Joy News Interactive. <laughs> Remember, you can join us via all our social media platforms. We're on Facebook.com forward slash Joy News on TV. We're also on Twitter at Joy News on TV or at GN Interactive GH. Alternatively, you can send your messages via email. Email address is joynewsim at multitvworld.com or send your messages via WhatsApp at 0541090909. Let's get talking. We start in Teshi, where we are told many women suspected to be lesbians have been attacked. The alleged lesbians were attacked at a party in Teshi Mobile. Let me just pull up the article on starfmonline.com. And it says that scores of women suspected to be lesbians have been attacked in the greater Accra region. They were organizing a party in the area of Teshi called Teshi Mobile. It's suspected that the party was an engagement ceremony for two of the ladies. And one of the victims who spoke to Star News on condition of anonymity said they attacked us during the party. They threw stones and feces at us, but I don't understand their anger. Is it not the right of the individual to decide what they want to do with themselves? Why do people have to be attacked because they choose to do what pleases them? She bemoaned. Meanwhile, youth of Teshi who attacked the ladies have vowed to continue with attacks until homosexuality is completely eliminated from the area. So this is the article uh, talking about these alleged lesbians who were attacked at Teshi. Now, we posted on Facebook and I want to read a few of your comments. Frank Nieje Soa says, even though the Western countries have developed, it is not from us. This shameful act must be made. That made them successful and recognized as developed nations, but from hard work, determination, making good use of their natural sources and good governance, what is freedom? Living in this shameful life is not freedom, but allowing God's word to dominate your life. And you didn't complete that. Joseph Patrick Abenyore thinks it's radical correction. Joe Awedaga says this is not the best way to do this, but it is also one way of stopping it. I hope no one died. Nantoma Baham Mahamadu Badim Sugu says it serves them right because this will serve as a deterrent to others. I think the community members should continue the good work. Not a man says if persuasion fails, force must be applied. Moses Atibila says no, 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 this is not the best way to correct the women. They should find a better way rather than what they have done. Enum Eric says solving cases of this sort, the Bursa way is always the best from Riaga. Okay, what's the Bursa way, Eric? 
you didn't clarify that one. Mate Enoch says, how can they accuse someone of something you are not sure of? And Eddie Delali says, no, because it's just an allegation. Moreover, we are not worthy to judge any women except the man at the top. Flame Neo J says, why must it be stopped? Lesbians have rights to end the pedome. Juventus says, I support the youth. Paul Sergio is saying they should have handed them to the police. So these are a few of your comments coming through on Facebook on that issue. So it was supposed to be a demonstration against ethnocentrism, but what did we see happen when some members of the New Patriotic Party decided to defy loyalty and demonstrate against one of their own? Anything which seeks to divide this country is wrong and should be condemned in forceful terms by everybody. We know the power of ethnic and tribal politicking to destroy communities and countries. We have several examples in, on the continent of Africa. We don't want that to happen here. So anything anybody says or does, which has the uh, ability or the capability of taking us down that road, is something we should all cons be concerned about. So when we heard that this group, Kodek, was calling this demonstration to, demo to show that we are all one people with a common destiny. We thought that that was a call we could all join and add our voice to the uh, effort to stop this kanka, which has the power uh, ability to destroy this country. But we got there only to realize that apparently it was an NDC-sponsored demonstration, and they didn't really want other people to join them. Several of our placards were destroyed, some were beating with, with sticks. The police stood by and eventually the youth organizer of the NDC had to come and join us and keep his people at bay. And I was like, was it a real call for all to join hands to fight against tribalism or it was just an NDC sponsored demonstration? How do you know it's an NDC sponsored um, demonstration? We saw people singing and dancing when MPP colors taunting us. They were taunting us once they realized that we were from the NPP openly. Some of them, one of them actually tried to take my placard away from me and give me another one. And I said, this is significant because I am an Akan. I went to encourage Akans who were being prevented from registering in Odododio. I went to encourage them to register and I was beaten up in Odododio. Esla Owusu, MP for Able Kuma West, telling us what happened at the Kodek demonstration, uh, that is the Coalition for the Defense of Equal Citizens demonstration. Now, they went to support them. Turns out it was an NDC-led demonstration, and they didn't really want anybody else involved. Well, we put the story on Facebook, so let's Take your thoughts on the one Ghana tent divided Ghana demonstration. And Prosper Silenso Atichogui says, I am happy this demo has been organized. In fact, we are one people and we must not allow some people to plunge the country into chaos. We don't have another Ghana elsewhere. If those making those ethnocentric comments, those making those ethnocentric comments must be made to face the full rigors of the law because they are abusing the freedom of speech in the country too much. We are tired of them. Eric Zopito says, hmm, oh, Mother Ghana, Ebeniza Shinebua, hmm, it's up to them. Bismarck Ousu answer, I, as an MPP joined, but later found out it was, okay, I guess you're trying to say you later found out it was an NDC demo. Nantoma Bahamadu Badim Sugu says, very happy about this demo. More to come. Ebismark coming back to CNDC, always blaming MPP for everything. Why? Moses Atibila, why always demo? We are tired. Ah. Abdul Alim Ibrahim, unfortunate. Erickson Yebwa, instead of them to demonstrate about the doom so which is now doom cry economic hardship and unemployment. John Mensah Aydan is asking whether we have Christians in this nation 
Kwabna Jesse, is this a political demo or ethnocentrism demo? Oh, Mother Ghana, we need peace. Okay, now let me give you a bit of a flashback. Would you contest the 2016 elections? Let's hope. I have been saying Hassan Ayarga and the PNC pledges remain as peaceful as we have always been. In 2000, Professor Mel saved the cause of peace and democracy when he considered defeat in no time after the second round. This was not the case in 2008, when my father sent the people to court on Sunday to stop the EC from declaring Atamils as winner. Hassan Ayerga is going to win the 20th general 12th election one touch. One touch. I want the NDC. Shall we have some silence, please? Shall we have, Shall we have some MPP silence, please? To pledge and here and now that they will concede defeat to me in no time when I win the 2012 general election. Well, one touch did not happen in 2012, but believe it or not, Hassan Ayariga could be Ghana's president in 2017. Yes, Mr. Ayarikov, as he is popularly known by many after his persistent irritating coughs during the 2012 IEA presidential debate, has decided to once again run for presidency on the ticket of the PNC come next year. Would you contest the 2016 elections? Let's hope and see what is going to happen in 2016. I'm sure you will see me there. If you are sure I'll see you there, does that mean you contest? If I'll yes. see you there, you contest the 2016 I'll election. Contest in 2016 elections. Or the tickets of which party? I don't know what you're asking about, but as you know, I'll be contesting the ticket of my great party, PNC. Heard it from the man himself, but what does the party make of his decision, particularly after some stalwarts expressed disappointment in his leadership in 2012? Joining me on the phone now is General Secretary of the PNC, Bernard Mona. Good evening. Welcome to GN Interactive. Good evening, madam. Now, the party expressed some level of disappointment in Hassan Ayariga's leadership last time. What does the party make of his decision to run again? next year well the party will be opening up nominations when the time comes mm. individuals of the party who are qualified and competent will pick up nominations to contest Hassan Ayarga, if he so decides to pick up a nomination will be vetted by the vetting committee and once he's through the rest of it will be the decision of the party delegate and so at our national delegates congress when he qualifies through the vetting processes and meets all the requirements that will be set as guidelines, mm. then I'm sure that the delegates of our party will make a decision as to which candidate they will elect. There are many names that are popping up, but it's exciting that um, he has already indicated publicly that he will be contesting for Flavera. Mm. No one can say no, and no one can say yes. It is the decision of delegates, and we cannot say yes or no to him. Mm. What we will do is that at the appropriate time, we'll open up nomination. Mm. And the national chairman and his team are working hard to ensure that we are able to um, quickly mobilize to go to Congress. And I'm sure that when we, if the time is due, we'll invite the media to our timetable. So we do polling station constituency, regional and national elections. All right. Now and at that platform, you will be able to determine who becomes and who doesn't become. Okay, Mr. Mona, should in case he makes it through the primaries and he wins, how, how do, you, do you think the party will back him? And how do you assess the party's chances in the 2016 elections with him? Oh, personally... As Personally, in 2012, mm. for all those who are in PNC and beyond, they noticed that I was not back in Hassan Ayaga for black better of our party. Mm. But once the party delegates choose, choose the same candidate, if you are a party person who believes in the survivability of our party, 
you would have no option than to go with the flat bearer because he now becomes the face of the past. Mm. And so those of you in the media saw my spirited defense and protection of our flag, party flag better. And I think that that should be how it should be. Okay. Um, if you go to the NDC, President Mahama possibly was not the best candidate um, or the best person for their party. But once he was elected, the party was enjoying to back him. If you go to the MPP, possibly Nana Ado was not the best candidate to have emerged or the best person for all the parties. But once you emerge Black Vera and you are leading the party into an election, it, is, it behoves on all of you, party members, um, to support the candidature of that person. And I think that whoever emerges, and in this particular case, if Hassan emerges, the PNC must back him and back him with all their energy and zeal. All right. Thank you very much. That was the General Secretary of the PNC, Bernard Mona. But what do you also make of Hassan Ayariga's decision to run for presidency yet again? Will the PNC have better luck this time? I want to make a, I want to make a pleasant. This is a young man who is here. He is a local comedian. He is a lot of, lot of into me other. He is a market guru, market man who is here. What I would like to say is that it depends on um, his faith. He should pray and ask God for direction. If the populace of the country wants him, fine. If he stands and he wins, that's all. If he doesn't, do you take it out from them? A less symbol to me be one. But as for my opinion, on the same can say, what's standing there? Yeah, about my yeah, yeah, young ones now, you saw me betting you who need sometimes be say, either say MPP, and this in Obiama, you bet my other parties, you know, you don't know, so bet my other papa be up to now, Wagana. I know about a pesca Oh, I did a fatta. Present and funding per the idea. I dream, I dream, I know that we are in the first, first one. You were no call for prayer gun. So I don't walk about the NDC. Congratulate His Majesty or said to for I must. I must congratulate His Majesty or two for or said to do for not only organizing this event but for sponsoring this event. His Majesty has spent so much, so much time, so much resources to bring all presidential candidates, political leaders, everybody here and I must say it's an historical event now let's come to the word of peace you all know Ayariga the man of peace the man who preaches peace day in day out we want we want we we want. Let me, let me, hello. You know, from all the eight political leaders here, we must show some sense of humor. We must make Ayarigate. Ayarigate, I give you the meaning of the word Ayarigate. Ayarigate is somebody who can make a whole nation laugh, smile, and joy. I must admit, you know, those were some interesting times with Hassan Ayariga there. And, you know, we took your comments from the streets. The comments on social media are just as interesting. We'll take them when we are back from the break.
Welcome back to the interactive segment with me, Fuakwa Harrison, on Joy News. Now, if you're just tuning in, we told you about the story of some ladies alleged to be lesbians who were pelted with stones and human excreta in Teshi. And then we also brought you the story of the one Ghana demonstration which turned divided Ghana when members of the MPP decided to join the protest and found out that it was an NDC-led demonstration. And then we have been telling you about Hassan Ayariga. Remember him? Well, he plans to run for the 2016 presidential elections on the PNC ticket. We took a few of your views from the streets. Let me just read a few of your comments on Facebook quickly before we take what is trending. We've been asking what you think his chances are. Prosper Atichobui says it can happen. Kwame Francis says, Chia. Victor Domejuvente says, why not? He can be president in 2016. Paul Adombo Sergio says, Apu, he can never be president in this country. Emmanuel Kofi says, yes, so we need more jovials in our politics so that there will be no tension again. And Abu Griabu says, sure, he can make it. Mustafa Amin says, Ghana doesn't have room for entertainers to rule this nation. So those are a few of your comments coming via Facebook on that issue. Lord Edu Asari has what's trending. That demo is also trending on social media. Let's go find out some of the reactions on Twitter. The first tweet is coming from Fred Esido Dankwa. NDC members chased us out of one Ghana demo. NPP. Okay. Next one is from Don Peno. I just learned from David Hua that no MPP member was molested at the one Ghana demo today. All right. And here's another from Mami Efua Akoto. She says, why would you attack others for participating in one Ghana demo? Mr. President, are we no more equal? Shame onto bad people. Right. And this is Murphy Nanasabi. I thought the one Ghana demo was nonpartisan. Next tweet is from Abu Mubarik. One people, one Ghana demo turns chaotic. Hmm. And this is Mami for Akutu again. The placard I loved most, hashtag one Ghana demo, was Kamal's. It reads, don't look at my Ashanti brother's name before you give him a contract. So those were some of the reactions. This has been Watch Trending. My name is Lord Harris. Oh, sorry. Let's take the video of the day. So that's Dela Aglano, producer of Airtel Entertainment News on Joy FM. He was dancing in Adam Naite's high heels. Okay, so that's the video of the day. Now let's take the picture of the day. Steve, look at the picture of the day. Imam Pehia. Junction. junction. Five zero point five kilometers. Yeah. Women do not like poverty. Poverty junction. Really? This is I think this is Photoshop. This is surely Photoshop. I'm told it's not photoshopped. They are screaming in my ear that it's not Photoshop. So please, where is that junction? Where is this junction? Where is this junction? <laughs> if you know where this junction is, yeah. please yeah. let us know uh, on Facebook. It looks like it should, be, it should be on the way to Kroma. <laughs> it looks like Kroma. <laughs> <Like, laughs> I don't write. Anyway. Oh, boy. <laughs> should be on the way to Kroma Mountains yeah, so, yeah. or Equipe Mountains, where my hometown is. So right, that's my, a kind my of... My name is Steven. <laughs> my name is Epua Kwa Harrison. And thanks for staying with Enjoy us. Enjoy the rest of our programs. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>